Hello everyone, welcome to the poster presentation for Occupational Science, Practice Translation, and Literacy Promotion through Clinician-Focused Online Education in the United States. My name is Josephine Jarvis, and this is my capstone presentation produced in affiliation with the University of Utah's Online Post-Professional Occupational Therapy Doctorate Program. The problem that this project has sought to address is literacy gaps amongst U.S.-based OTPs in terms of access to foundational occupational science concepts. Currently, there are limited educational materials produced specifically for field occupational therapists. Many occupational therapists that are currently practicing in the United States may have graduated from their OT education programs before occupational science was developed as an international field of inquiry, or their programs might have incorporated limited curriculum around occupational science in that ACOAT has not yet required it as foundational curriculum across all 50 states. And so we're desperately in need of education materials that can make up that gap, especially since AOTA has incorporated occupational science concepts into many of their professional commitments and the uh, 2020 application of the Occupational Therapy Practice Framework 4th edition. This project really seeks to accomplish making up for this literacy gap, the creation of an online Foundations of Occupational Science course that's designed specifically for U.S.-based OTPs, which is informed by the combined utilization of the following learning theories, connectivism, transformational learning, social learning, vicarious learning, narrative learning, and behaviorism. It also incorporates many instructional design methods, such as Hooper et al.'s principles for occupational-centered education and game-based learning models, universal design principles, and best practices for online adult education, and I misspoke, occupation-centered education. So the objective is truly to promote accessible literacy of foundational occupational science concepts that will enable practice translation of occupation-centered practice in the U.S. context. So ways that this objective seeks to be accomplished with the design of this course includes inclusion of peer role modeling of other OTPs who have already begun to incorporate OS-informed practices as part of their daily life and practice as OTPs, and utilization of guest interviews, especially from multi multidisciplinary backgrounds, use of anonymous critical self-reflection prompts, use of synthesis-based video lectures, remote and live discussion opportunities, use of occupational profiles as narrative learning that are thematic to the release of different modules, life and practice challenges to practice trying out different concepts that are explored in the course, and use of case examples at the individual micro, meso, and macro level, use of simulated learning scenarios, often through a game-based format, and providing all students with disorienting dilemma supports and navigating having some of their worldviews challenges challenged by the content, as well as use of technology, tutorials, and positive reinforcement to continue ongoing engagement in the course. For the capstone period of the course release, it will be freely available to U.S.-based OTPs, particularly through November 30th. This will include the course orientation onboarding, which is currently live, as well as the module on how to access materials and publications as an OTP after you no longer have a university log. And the following three OS content modules will be released over this period as well, including the value of occupational science literacy for OTPs and occupation and contemporary history, what is the science, and who is a scientist. So the results of this project are currently ongoing as this is launching the current release of the project. So the orientation on onboarding is currently live and the other modules will be trip released through the end of the year. If you are interested in being part of this course, you are welcome to join through the QR card co code that's soon to follow for the conclusion of this slideshow really in order to translate occupational science into contemporary practice settings. There needs to be OS educational content that's designed to be made accessible to field occupational therapy practitioners at the layperson associates, bachelor's, master's, and doctorate level utilizing technologies that will allow for flexible asynchronous learning and innovative andragogy. So if you're interested in checking this out, please follow this QR code and you can get signed up to take the initial onboarding of the course. And if you're interested in the principles of occupation-centered education, please see this citation here.
Also, there's sample course content currently available through anywhere that you like to listen to podcasts. The Engaging Occupational Science podcast includes one of the interviews that will be featured in the course content. Thank you.